Yo, what's going on guys, how you doing? I am fucking bored right now. I'm waiting for this PD and all those dudes. PD, Lexi, Scuff Steve Jobs, they all flew back to, or they're, yeah, they flew back to LA already, and I'm flying, uh, I'm just waiting to fly as well. Um, I didn't get shit for sleep last night, fucking goddamn. Um, okay, I wanted to go live though, to actually just kind of, I'll just chat a little bit, and just to talk about like, yesterday I was being vague as fuck on CX News for, like, obviously for, like, on purpose. Um, because I didn't really want to make it anyone's business, but, I mean, it's already out there, and everybody is sort of obvious by now what actually, uh, conspired and went down, so might as well just fucking talk about it in a less vague manner. Um, now, before I, act, before I actually begin, um... Sam's not a bad guy. I don't hate Sam. Uh, I just think he crossed a certain line that uh, he shouldn't have crossed. And, uh, you know, I'll go through that. So, ba I mean, let me think. Where do I start? Because I saw some people on Reddit and in general, they're just like, oh, you know, this is an overreaction and I'm overreacting with how I feel. I mean... I disagree. I don't think I overreacted at all. Um, basically, what happened was, my, well, this is my my perspective. My perspective. This is my perception as to what happened. Um, basically, Scuff Steve Jobs is talking shit uh, about Sam, and you know, Sam obviously got mad at Scuff Steve Jobs for you know, like saying what he said yesterday, and. You know, Sam texted me, and he was like, why didn't you defend me against fucking Scuff Steve Jobs? Why didn't you, why did you tell him to, like, start drama with me? And I was just like, I mean, this isn't my drama. I'm not going to get involved. It's not even my stream, dude. Like, I'm just like, who cares? You know what I mean? And, uh, I mean, you do this all the time, you know? Fucking on your stream, you start drama, too. Like, what's the difference? Like, who cares? Um, if Scuff Steve Jobs wants to, like fucking talk shit and, like, start drama with you, like, just go on your stream and just do it back, like, who gives a shit, um, so he got mad at me for not defending him and, you know, telling Scuff Steve Jobs, like, uh, like, okay, Sam versus Scuff Steve Jobs, like, ha ha ha, and, you know, me and Sam were texting for a little bit, and we got into, like, a little argument, and, uh, I just started ignoring his texts, <laughs> so he decides to text my girlfriend uh it's just like what's going on he, well he's, he's just like texting her and just like hey what's going on with Paul like I'm so done with like this is this is bad like like this is not what a friend does blah 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 that's what he was saying to her and you know I didn't really care about that because like sure he's just trying to like figure out what's going on but uh it was the stuff that he said to her that I thought was a little bit uh, manipulative and I didn't really appreciate that in my perspective I thought he was trying to like you like dictate her emotions to get one over on me if that makes sense you know what I mean like this is just how I felt when I saw the the screen caps that uh, she sent me, because I, I asked him, like, let me see what he said. Um, I, like, in my perspective, I think he was, like, he, he, we were arguing, and then he started texting my girlfriend, and he was, like, doing stuff to make my girlfriend, like, like, he wanted my girlfriend to, like, defend him 
for him to me because he knows that I trust her. Like that, you know, that's like the that's the first vibe that I got, and that's like not cool. Like you don't do that. Like that's kind of fuck. That's kind of like fucked up. You know what I mean? Like I just felt like he was using her as a tool to like win this argument against me. Um, whether he did this on purpose or not, I have no idea. Um, that's just what I felt. That's how I saw the situation. Um, and then in the text as well, um, you know, he was just like, this is one thing he said that really pissed me off. He texted her like something, uh, and then in the text he said, please don't tell Paul that I texted you. And then he texted me 30 minutes later and says, hey, I just texted your girlfriend. Now, obviously, when I get that text, I'm going to text my girlfriend like, hey, why did Sam, uh, like, what did Sam text you about or something, right? And then, you know, she was obviously put in an awkward situation because now she's like, you know, Sam told her not to say that she texted me. So she's put in an awkward situation. And I knew she was like put in an awkward situation because her responses were just kind of like odd. So I kind of figured out what was going on pretty quickly. And then I was just like, yo, can you just send me the screen caps of what you guys talked about? So when I saw that, I was like, is Sam trying to like start conflict or something? Because uh, in my perception, it was, uh, if I, if I, if we started, like if a conflict started between me and my girlfriend and she argued with me, now he can use that to his advantage to have her like side with him. Like that's the first perception that I saw because why would you like say, hey, please don't tell Paul that I texted you, and then he told me that he texted her. That's the first thing I saw that was just fucking weird. Um, and then another thing that he saw, that he said in the text was, uh, he was telling her like, just weird shit, like, oh, it's like about this, this, this Lexi Snapchat, there's like some situation that we, that is like, that we talked about that's out of context, but, um, he basically was like, he told her, he's like, oh, it's okay to lie as long as it doesn't affect anything. And that's not okay. Like, why are you telling my girlfriend it's okay to lie to me as long as it doesn't affect anything? Like, dude, this is not your relationship. Don't say that to my fucking girlfriend. Uh, like, it's not, that's not cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're my, f you're supposed to be my friend. Why are you telling my girlfriend, it's, oh, it's okay to lie to him as long as it doesn't affect anything? Obviously, she was, she was not okay with that and she didn't. Like, she just sent me, like, what he said and stuff. Um, I just thought that was weird. And then, let me see the text. What else? There were some other shells pissed off about, too. I don't want to show the text either, because it's just nobody's fucking business. Um, Oh yeah, then he texted her saying, hey, I'm, I'm also crying right now. Like, dude, if you're crying, go, like, talk to Hannah, bro. Like, why are you talking to my girlfriend saying you're fucking crying? Like, that only shows me that, like, you were trying to get, like, like, it's just, it's just weird to me, dude. It's, it just seems like, uh, he wanted pity or something. Like, he was trying to, like, make her feel bad and shit. Like, it's just like, why are you even bringing her into it in the first place? And if, like, I understand, like, okay... You want to see what's going on with me, so you text my girlfriend because I, you know, because she knows more about me than you. But the first things he said to her was, "I don't think Paul's like a good friend," and blah blah blah. And, and if you're trying to mend this argument that we were having, that's not the first thing you say to the person you're trying to mend with, girlfriend. Like that just comes off with bad intentions. The first thing he said to her was, "I'm so." over Paul, like, I'm over this, and I'm, he's not a great, he's not a good friend to me, and like, that's, that just comes off as bad intentions, as like, and I feel like he was trying to dictate how she was supposed to feel towards me when she's not even involved. Um... I don't know, the, the whole thing was just weird, dude. And then, yeah, I think that's pretty much 
Yeah, hold on. Our modern culture has been defined by a century of free thinkers in every creative field. Yeah, the first thing he said was, I'm so, 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 so done with ice. <laughs> this is the end of it. It's the first thing he texted her. That comes off with such bad intentions, dude. Like, if this is the end of it and I'm such a bad friend, why are, the f why are you texting my girlfriend and then saying you're crying? He has me in tears. Don't say we talked. Like, it... Yeah, it just comes off he, like he's trying to use her as a tool to win the to win an argument against me. And like try to start conflict between me and her. Because, you know, obviously I asked her if they talked and he said don't say that. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm overreacting, like, I, but I don't think I am. I don't think that's okay to do. Like if we're having an ar if you if two friends are having an argument, there's no reason to bring a third party into it and try to dictate their emotions for to try to win the argument. And like, am I right or am I wrong? Like, I'm not great with friendships and relationships and personal like just like I'm sort of fucking autistic, but I don't think that's okay. Let me see. Hey, I just talk about interview Keemstar about how you're thinking step away from stream for a little while. That seems more pressing. That's just Jay causing turmoil. I'm, I mean, I'm not really away from streaming. I just, I just, I just <laughs> we're like all over the place right now, dude. But thank you. Say, so, yeah, man, love your streams of content. Hope all that sells down. Better, bro. And, I know it's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, dude. Thank you. I mean, I'm not gonna show like all the text, dude, but, like, I'm not, it's, like, not okay, but I will do this, and Sam, you have my permission to, like, you can do the same thing, like, I don't care, but this is, uh, let me see, So I actually, uh, so I, I, I was trying to point out that what uh, that I didn't like what Sam did to my girlfriend, so that's why I circled this specific shit, because I was trying to sh show her, like, that he's trying to be a little manipulative and, like, dictate your emotions and, like, take a whole, like, take control of my emotions through you, um, or that's the perception I had at least, so this is just the one thing that I thought was just weird, dude. Um said please don't say please don't say we talked May have your attention, please. and then 30 minutes Kennedy. later he says he says I texted Kimberly because I didn't know who else to talk to and like all this other shit like as soon as I saw that I'm just like like that came off as such bad intentions to me dude I mean, what do you guys think about that? Like, I don't know. Like, it just comes off, like, weird. And I, it just, it, it put me in just a, it just, it, it really just a bad light, you know what I mean? It just seems kiddish, and, or, it seems kiddish, and it just, it put me in, like, a, it just made me feel weird, dude, I don't know. Um, unmod and ban Sam from the chat. Remember, Sam Strongsley calls Kim, and she was topless. I think it's time to move on. You should consider Lexi's new girlfriend. No, that's retarded. I mean, why would... I also think it's weird, like, if we're having an argument, why would you try to, like, text my girlfriend behind my back? Like, that's so weird, dude. And then, yeah, like I said, I think he was trying to control my emotions through her. Because he obviously wanted to get her to like defend him or something like that's what the vibe that I got you threw your friend away for investors no dude dude <laughs> no let me put it this way none of my other friends that I've argued with ever has ever texted any of my girlfriends ever to try to win the argument Nobody. 
what kind of friend does that? Like, I don't think Sam's a bad person, and I don't know if he did this intentionally or not, but that's how it came off. Like, who the fuck does that? Why are you bringing a third-party person into the situation trying to dictate their emotions to win an argument against me? That doesn't even make sense. And it only shows that he was trying to... I don't know, dude, like... Just it, it make he tried to paint me in like a bad light to her, <laughs> because you know the one of the first things she texted me was, "What's going on? Why are you being mean to Sam?" So she was completely manipulated, and I'm like, "What? I'm like, I'm not being mean to Sam. I'm like, what are you talking about?" So that's obviously, and then like I had to talk to her, and there was like some, and it was just annoying like that I had to explain to her that she was being manipulated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, I don't hate Sam. I don't. Like, I I didn't want to remove him. I did not want to remove him from the network, dude. Um, but I just felt like there was a line that was crossed that I had to set a precedent for. Like, you can't do that. I don't care if you try to manipulate me because I can see through this shit. But I don't want you to try to manipulate somebody who's vulnerable and somebody who doesn't understand this shit. Like, she, she doesn't understand when she's getting manipulated. So, that's not okay, dude. At least I understand when somebody's attempting to manipulate me. I just don't care because, like, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, as long as I know how to not get fucked over in the situation, whatever. Somebody who's vulnerable doesn't know how to not get fucked over in a situation, and that's the problem there. Now, do I think there was bad intentions behind it? I mean, I don't know, probably not bad intentions, but it definitely came off the wrong way, because... <laughs> I don't even know how else to explain it. It just, it just really pissed me off. You're both juvenile as fuck, but he had many other people he could have messaged besides her. That's shady and typical snake behavior. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I, 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 thought this, I thought the same thing. There's just, there was no reason to at all bring her into it. I mean, I don't think I'm overreacting though, chat. Um, I'm not gonna allow someone to manipulate my girlfriend to try to win an argument against me. That's not okay. That's how I saw it, that's not okay. I mean, I guess if I'm overreacting, we can just add him back to the network and just forget this ever happened. But I'm not going to do that. You really removed him because of this? This makes you seem like an insecure child who's overreacting. Yes, Sam's acting weird, but you can't blame him. But can you blame him? Yeah, I can blame him. Okay. It, there's more... There's like a huge amount of context behind this. It's not just that. Um, I've been a bad friend to Sam. I can agree on that 110%. But Sam has known for months what page of our friendship I was on. And, you know, Sam is, was trying to be on a completely different page of our friendship. And I didn't want him to be on that page. Um, I thought Sam was my friend. But I never fully trusted him. Um, I have trust issues. I don't fully trust anybody. And he knew that. And I expressed this to him plenty of times. But he would continue to say that I'm his best friend, this and that. And you know what I mean? He just was very overbearing at times. When he knew how I felt, uh, you know, in our friendship. And then, you know, before he... You know, and that's what, and, the, the, and I say that because obviously he texted me after his Gusty job saying very offended, and he's like, you know what, we're not friends anymore at this point, it's just going to have to be business. And then after he said, we're not friends anymore, it's just business, he texted my girlfriend. <laughs> like, that's not, like, do you understand, like, how fucking weird that is? Like, there's obviously a huge amount of context with this, but... 
And I asked other people's opinions about this too before I removed him, and they agreed that what he was doing was just fucking weird. Not only did he involve your girlfriend, but he also asked her to lie, then told you he did, like he went out of his way to cause you a problem. Yeah, that was another thing that pissed me off. He told, he told my girlfriend, uh, no, don't tell him something. It's okay to lie. It doesn't hurt anything. Me and my girlfriend pride our relationship on not lying to each other. And we're very honest with each other. So for him to tell my girlfriend it's okay to lie to, to, to Paul, as long as it doesn't affect anything, like, bro, you're not in this relationship. Don't tell her shit that I don't want her to do, you know, and vice versa. You know, I would never tell one of her fucking friends, oh, it, or I would not, like, you know what I mean? I wouldn't want somebody to tell me, like, oh, it's okay to lie. Like, no, it's not, like, what the fuck? Like, that's completely overstepping your boundaries. And then he said, uh, don't tell Paul this because he, he's going to get mad at you. But the thing that he that she would have told me wouldn't have got me mad at all. So that just paints me in a bad light. Like, why would you say I'm going to get mad if she says a certain thing when I wouldn't have got mad at all? Like, <laughs> like that's overstepping your boundaries. Don't, don't try to dictate her fucking emotions, dude. You're not her fucking boyfriend. Just being real, that's dumb. Hope you aren't just trying to please Reddit. Listen, bro, if I was trying to please Reddit... I would have kicked him off the network like four months ago. You're smart, not trust him. He's using Kim to manipulate your emotions. He admitted it on the stream through playing all the victim words. While I was being very vague on CX News, he, he was being a lot less vague. That's why I'm just saying it now. You know, like my perspective on it. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't think I'm overreacting. I think Sam was being snaky. I'm sorry. I don't think he's a bad person. I think he's being snaky. Um... And it, I mean, I've seen it with other people, too. Like, I've seen Sam do, like, manipulative shit with other people. But I just never cared because it's, like, not my fucking, like, it doesn't involve me. Um, but now that he did something that involved me, I just, I nipped that shit on the bud. Nipped it on the bud, okay? Not the butt. You did the right thing, homie. Sam did some low shit. Yeah, and the thing that pissed me off the most was, keep keep in mind, my perspective, you know, my girlfriend, she texted me, and she's like, don't be, like, why are you being mean to Sam, what's going on? And, you know, they talked on the phone, and I don't have, like, obviously, he probably said some bullshit to her on the phone uh, about me being mean to him and shit, like... Like, bro, fight your own battles. Like, you don't, like, don't go to my fucking girlfriend and have her text me, like, that I'm being mean to you. I think Sam doesn't realize how manipulative he is by nature. Regardless, he did something stupid and needs to be held accountable. You're all going to be friends again and make it out. So, obviously, I did this to set a precedent um, and to show him that what he did was not okay. I don't really want to add him back to the network. I might text him and tell him, like, my perspective, but I haven't texted him, I haven't told him what he did wrong, because I, you know what I mean? Like, if you want to play the manipulative game, like, bro, I can play it back, like, type shit. I know I should be, like, the bigger man type, like, uh, and not do that, but I was pissed yesterday. And, um, but yeah, I'm not going to add him back to the network. I don't even really want to be friends with him. I, I just don't trust him, <laughs> you know what I mean, to, like, be completely frank. Uh, and he knew I didn't fully trust him for months. I, I, exp I only trust, like, literally three people in my life. Jacob, my girlfriend, and Kyle. Um, I do, I have, like, half trust for people, too. Like, I half trusted Sam. Like, I half trust, like, other, some other people, too, that I'm not going to name. Um, I do trust Guff Steve Jobs, like, like 80%. <laughs> Um, PD, I trust like 60%. You know, shit like that. So if you already know that I don't fully trust you, you shouldn't do stuff that's gonna come off as bad. Because, I don't know. I started it though. 
So here's the thing. Um, Sam has talked shit about Scuff Steve Jobs, like all the like he downplays Scuff Steve Jobs plenty of times. Uh, so if Scuff Steve Jobs wants to fucking like say stuff that downplays Sam, like I'm not gonna sit there and like defend Sam. I'm not gonna jump in the way and be like, don't fucking say that about Sam. No, I'm just gonna be like, oh shit, Sam versus SSJ right now, what else do you have to say? Like, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna, like, I don't give a shit, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Because Sam literally does the same shit on his fucking streams. Uh, Sam literally starts drama on his streams with everybody, so, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna, like, defend him when someone wants to start drama with him. It's just, like, the same playing field. Um... So I don't know why he was getting mad at me. Or I don't know why he got mad at me that I didn't defend him against Scuff Steve Jobs. None of my fucking business. What does Sam do? I am confused. Long story short, my perspective, I think Sam was trying to use my girlfriend as an, as an emotional crutch to win an argument against me. And then potentially use her for future, as a tool for future manipulation. How horrible that he tried to be close friends with you. Texting my girlfriend, the shit that he did, is not trying to be close friends with me. It's trying to forcibly butt his head into my fucking life when I already told him what page we were on. Like, if I tell you, hey man, I like you, I think you're a good friend, but I don't fully trust you because I have trust issues, don't purposely try to butt your head into my life so far that you're gonna force me to have to trust you because you're going and being friends with everyone around me that I'm close with. Because that puts me in a position where if you're best friends with my fucking girlfriend and everyone else I'm close with, now I have to be fucking best friends with you. And I already told you what page we're on. And I don't, like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? I'll be your best friend, Paul. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you. Snake moves. Um, like I said, I don't think Sam's a bad person. I don't even think he realizes what he does half the fucking time. I don't think he has bad intentions half the time. But that doesn't mean I want to be around it. Because I told myself a week ago, I'm going to cut people out of my life that I think are negative, that I think are bringing me down. And if I think Sam is intentionally or unintentionally being manipulative... I don't want to be fucking around it. And this goes for other people, too. Uh, like, Sam and Andy, I told him what I really fucking thought about him. I think he's a fucking retard. Uh, and, you know, all this other shit. Sam acts like he's still on Big Brother, not cool. I mean, yeah, I don't know, dude. Like, I feel bad. Like, I do. I was pissed. But I still felt bad, because... You know, I, I've always told myself, you shouldn't judge a friendship based on one action. You should judge a friendship based on, like, several months. But I thought for many, for, like, two hours before I removed them off the network. Literally, I thought about it for two hours. And I thought of all the other stuff, like, manipulative stuff he's done with, like, other people. And, like, he likes control. And, you know, he's very cynical. And I've seen it with other people. And I think... Okay, if I don't nip this on the bud right now, how far is he going to go? Let's say six months from now, is he still going to try and have, like, emotional control over the people around me to dictate, you know, their emotions to try to win in an argument against me? Like, no, I'm not going to allow that. Um, you know. That's, like, that's not okay. I'll be your best friend, but she texts Sam. Um, here's the thing. I don't care if Sam ever texted my girlfriend. I don't give a shit. Um, I cared that he was trying to manipulate her. This isn't an insecure thing. I'm not worried about him fucking cheating, like him fucking like having sex with her or anything. I was worried about uh, her being manipulated, which she was. <laughs>
When I, I saw Caroline at Bone Clinks' party yesterday with her fucking fiance. What, what the fuck is that relationship? Did he wear my suit <laughs> to Bone Clinks' party? Like, like imagine wearing, like imagine being married to a chick wearing her ex-boyfriend's suit. And then imagine talking about me the whole night. <laughs> Like, you know, and like, it's just weird, dude. Like, imagine, like, that's just such a weird, like, what is that relationship that they have? That's so fucking weird. Um, it was like, uh, like what, were the, what the fuck were they doing? You know what I mean? Your girlfriend's not loyal. She almost agreed to keep the messages away from you. Oh, not at all, dude. Um, she was just like, okay, whatever to Sam, and then she immediately screen capped it and sent it to me and was like, look at this. And I'm like, oh shit, okay, thank you very much. Because I asked her, um, after he said I just texted Kimberly, I asked her, I was like, hey, can I see what the fuck you guys were talking about? Because, you know, like I said, literally 20 minutes before that, he said, we're not friends anymore, it's all just business. So I was just like, all right, I think in my head that he's going to try and manipulate my girlfriend. So... So, and so I asked her, send me the screen caps, so I could validate if he was trying to manipulate her. And lo and behold, I was fucking right. <laughs> he did. I completely guessed the entire situation to a T. Um, and I, f I was like, oh, if I can guess the situation to a T, there's definitely something wrong here. Uh, and that's where I, you know, started it. Yeah, and then, you know, Sam, if I really had you in tears, keep it between us. Don't bring third-party people into it to get, you know, sympathy out of them. That's not okay. If I have an argument with you, I'm not going to text Hannah and say, Sam made me cry. I'm in fucking tears right now. That's, it, like, that comes off so bad. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Um, maybe it was an overreaction to remove him from the network, but I didn't think so. I, I really just didn't want him being a part of my life, like, at, at this point, so... Let me see, maybe you let your friends in, and they won't have to go through your girlfriend. Oh, I let my friends in. I just don't let everyone in. And if they can't respect that, what intentions do they truly have? Like, you know what I mean? Um, like, if I tell... Like, I let Kyle in 100%. I let my girlfriend in 100%. I let Jacob in 100%. Why the fuck... Why, I don't want to let Sam in 100%. Uh, and I told him that. So don't force your way into it. Like, you know what I mean? Respect that. Because at the end of the day, it just comes off as having another fucking motive behind what you're trying to do. Um, like, if my friend tells me, hey, man, I don't, like, you're a good friend, but I don't really want to tell you shit. I don't really want to open up and be vulnerable to you. I'd be like, okay, that's fine. Like, that's, the, that's our friendship level, and that's the page we're going to stay on. And I'm not going to force my way into that shit. You know, like, when you're ready to open up to me, okay, I'm here. But if you don't want to, okay, like, we can stay on that, same, we can stay on that level. Um, yeah, I, I mean, that's pretty much it. There's nothing more to really say. I mean, I, like I said, I don't hate Sam. I don't think he's a bad guy. It just rubbed me the wrong way, left a really bad flavor in my mouth. I don't really, I don't, let me see, I hate Sam, but I don't really think he had bad intentions. You guys should really sit down and talk about it. Thank you, Brad, appreciate it. 
30 day ban. Thank you, dude. Um, I don't really think it's worth sitting down and talking about it, man. Because the thing that scares me is if somebody's going to try and manipulate a third party person that's vulnerable to the situation, I don't, like, it doesn't matter how much talking we do. How do I know he's not going to just try and go behind my back and talk to a vulnerable third party person again that I care about to try to, you know, win me over in a situation? Like, I'm not going to take that risk. Um, because if he actually successfully manipulates that person and they don't tell me what's going on, then I can't, and I can't nip it on the bud, then he's basically like stealing their emotions from them and taking it in as his own when I'm the person that they care about and that I care about. You know what I mean? This goes for anybody. It was one specific thing to not tell you. You're dumb for not trusting him in the first place. He was a good friend. Should have warned him at least. I, like I said, I told him what page we're on, man. Uh, I don't want to miss. I don't want to mix business and pleasure. Uh, there's no reason for me to 100% drop my guard, be vulnerable, and completely trust Sam. I thought he was a good friend, but I, there's just no reason for me to be 100% vulnerable with him. And I'm glad I wasn't 100% vulnerable with him. Um, you know what I mean? Like, there's, like I don't have to do that. I don't have to. Want, I don't have to let him in and be vulnerable with him. Like, that's not how friendships work. Um, if I don't want to go, if I don't want to go to a certain point with you, just respect that. Don't try to force it. You know, I'm not obligated. I don't fucking owe him my emotions. I don't owe him my vulnerability. Um, so no, I don't have to trust him. And I'm not dumb for not letting him in, dude. Um, I don't let fucking anyone in except for select people. Because, uh, then I get fucking fucked over in the end. What about Voldasad? I trust Voldasad, actually. I forgot. I actually do trust Voldasad. Um, I just don't really talk to him about stuff when it comes to emotions. Because, because uh, I don't think he's the best at... That kind, those kinds of conversations, you know. I think he's a good friend. I don't think he's the best at talking about like emotions and stuff, though. You know, he's like very, you know, to himself, and you know, like he's there's just some people that just aren't good with giving like advice and stuff. And you know, he's just like a he's like just a guy, you know, a good guy to hang out with. He's not really somebody I go to for advice or whatever. But yeah, I mean, obviously I trust Voldasad, otherwise I wouldn't live with him, you know? <laughs> uh, this is exactly why your trust, if you, your trust issues, you assume the worst intentions from people. Um, I assume the worst intentions from people, sometimes, for good reason, though. I mean, Sam, like I said, whether he intentionally did it or not, was very manipulative in the situation towards my girlfriend, and that is not okay. Um, I do it to protect myself, man. I let people in that I think I should let in, you know what I mean? Like, I let Jacob in. I let Boldasad in, I just don't do it much because, you know, I don't think he's the best at giving advice. Um, I don't let Gus Steve Jobs in emotionally, but I do get advice from him sometimes. That is mainly business. Um, you know, let my girlfriend in. I let uh, Kyle in. Sometimes I even let fucking Victor in. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Victor, like, I don't do it. Like, yeah, he's a good guy. I don't, I don't do it with him often because... I don't like being vulnerable with people. It makes me feel fucking weird. And, you know, growing up, I, you know, I was, my parents were always like, uh, be careful, like, don't fucking, like, show your, your true self to people, some, because, like, if, if you stop being friends with them, then they can, like, fuck you over. Like, this is how I was, like, this is how I was brought up, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, I mean, I do open myself to people, just not everyone.
And I don't have to. Like, it's, it's not my, like, no, I'm not, no, nobody's owed my fucking trust. Um, you know, as long as I express what level we're on and what page we're on. He's been saying he's a snake for months. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, like I said, I didn't think Sam's a bad person, though, so. But yeah, he, he crossed the line for me. You're crazy. Volus is just your best friend, and now he's someone to hang out with. Uh, Voldisat is my best friend. But that doesn't mean I talk to him about my emotional, like, shit. <laughs> like, he's just, you know, he's a quiet guy. Like, he doesn't give the best advice about that kind of shit, you know what I mean? Um, I get along with him, and he's my best friend, but I don't talk to him about my emotional shit. Um... I mean, he's there, and I feel comfort around him, but I don't, you know, if I need to cry about something, Voldestad is not the first person I go to. Um, there are other people that I, that I go to. What are your thoughts, Sam? Ice playing 60 chess, beating you at your own game? I mean, not really, dude. Like I said, I mean, if you, like, I, if Sam wants to fucking, like, I don't know, fucking go live and continue explaining how his perspective, like, I don't really, like, it's fine, dude. Like, he can play whatever game he wants. But, yeah, I mean, I just saw people thinking, like, fake, this and that. Like, I don't, I'm not adding him back on the network, and I, I don't really want to be friends with him, unfortunately. It sucks, but those are my emotions. I'll probably text him in, like, a couple days when shit settles down. I'll tell him why I, was, why I was exactly mad. You know, give him closure, finish it off, and then that's it. That's that's probably what it, I'll do. But uh, okay, let me see. Uh, this camera is dying, and I'm gonna go get on my flight. So I'll see y'all later. I just wanted to clear this up and uh, just like talk for a little bit while I'm waiting for this. So. Alright, I'll see y'all later. Peace, y'all. I love you. Goodbye. And, uh... Streamer House. Yeah, that's... It's actually coming. Um, we're going to pick up the check very, very soon. So, I'll see y'all later.